Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at the free Edge Flow add-on. So this add-on comes from Benjamin Saunder, and you can get it from GitHub, making it free. If you come to the GitHub page, there's a link in the description, you just click on the releases, and this is the latest release, and it will come to this section, just download the Edge Flow zip, and then install it in the normal way. So what does this add-on do? Well, several things actually. So let's go through these one at a time. I've got a cube here. Let's just S to scale that up. And then I'll apply the scale just so there's no confusion. And I'm gonna go into edges. And I'm just gonna add an edge here. And let's say an edge here. And then we'll come to this one and I'm gonna control and B and add in a bevel. Pretty standard things that we might want to do for various different reasons. Now as a demonstration piece, let's talk about this in its simplest way. What I'm going to do is add a couple of edge loops in here, and then I might add an extra edge loop there. And the first thing we've got is a lot of edge loops that are well, not evenly spaced. So let's have a look how we can solve this. So what you do is you select your edges that you want, and then you can either use Control and E to get up the edge selection, and you've got Set Flow and Set Linear, or you can right click and again set flow and set linear. We're gonna start talking about the set flow first. I'll come to the set linear last. So in this situation, if I right click and then set flow, it's just gonna even out the spacing. And importantly, what it does is it looks at the spacing either side before it decides what to do with the spacing. So you don't click the outermost selection that you want to be thought about, just the ones you want to be affected. Now, if I just undo that, I just want to mention one thing with this, which is if I select this one as well, now this is going to be looking at this section and this section, and that's going to cause a problem because of this one. The reason for that is that it's going to look or I believe it looks off the normals, and the normal of this one is pointing, well, basically at 45 degrees out, and that's gonna cause this issue. So shift click, set flow, and you'll notice that it basically goes a bit wonky. Now there's a reason for that. We'll talk about that as we come over to our beveled section, but what it's trying to do is smooth this out. So to solve this, what we can do is come to our min angle and just rotate that up until it gets to the point where it keeps it flat. So there we go. So that will work, but just remember that it's going to keep that setting next time you use it, so you might have to change it again. You'll also notice that because of that, this actually isn't perfectly equal. This one is slightly longer than the other ones. So if I just undo that again, and Control and E, and set flow, is you can just up your iterations, and then basically you get to the point where it can't get any better. So you can use these toggles to tweak everything to your liking and get it perfect. So that's the first use of this, just equaling out distances between it. The second is if you've got something like this bevel, I'm just gonna queue and clean mesh to clean up this cube to make this a bit easier to see. But if you've got this bevel here and you suddenly realize that you want to have more of a rounding to it, basically it's too low poly, we can also use edge flow to fix this as well. So what I'm gonna do is select these edges, control E and subdivide. So I'll just do this once. But at this point, this actually hasn't made it any more rounded. We can see we've got these edges here, but it's still flat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of those edges, remembering not to select the last two that we don't want to move and almost act as the guide points of this. And then we can just right click, set flow, and I'll just take that min angle down to zero to make sure it's working. And then we can see this has worked. Now, once again, the iterations, if we up those just a couple of times, we can see it becomes a bit more perfectly rounded than when it was left at one. So that's worth doing. So this gives a really nice and free way to be able to modify these bevels. I will say if you've got Mesh Machine, this does become vastly easier. You can just select those faces Y and then refuse and then it will do that automatically and you can just up the amount of edges that you want. But you have to pay for Mesh Machine, whereas Set Flow is free. So it depends what you want to do. Obviously Mesh Machine has a lot of other tools in it as well. There's a link in the description to a playlist where I go through a guide of those. Now the final thing that we need to mention is that it has got this set linear function. So I've just made this object here and it's just a cube with an inset and then we've inset that down and it's got messed up for some reason. Now this actually happens quite regularly if you use things like booleans, it might not be perfectly straight. Now we can straighten this out in a number of different ways. For example, let's say I was to select all those edges and then shift select and then all those edges. We could just use machine tools, which again is free to do an align. So I can Alt A and drag to the side and it aligns it. But you'll notice that it's 
aligned it to the furthest point to that side, which is there. If you do want to have a look at a video on how that works, again, there's a link in the description. So that goes too far. What we want to do is set these up in a linear way where actually it will keep the thickness of this edge basically to this amount. So again, right click, set linear, and it will sort that out. Now it's worth noting that this works off of, as far as I can tell, the vertex that's here and the vertex that's here and makes this straight in between. So for example, if I select less, let's come to here where it's a bit more extreme. So let's say I go to there and then there and there and then there and then come to top view so we can see this. If I right click and then set linear, you'll notice that it doesn't move the vertex here and here when it's deciding that. You'll also notice that it's made these relatively uneven in terms of their gap. Don't worry, if you right click and then set linear again, you can click this to space evenly and it will keep that nice spacing. But if I wanted to fix this, what I'm doing is there to there, there to there, right click and then set linear. And then the same thing over here, right click and then set linear. So three awesome functions using set flow to even up spacing or to be able to correct the roundness of a shape or set linear to straighten up some edges. Awesome functionality and it is a free add-on. If you found that useful, please do hit that like button so other people are more likely to find this as well. If you're not subscribed, subscribe for more great content. And if you want to support the channel further, we have a Patreon page where you get these videos a week early, ad-free, access to the exclusive Discord channel and other little things as well. Have a great day, guys.